everyone, so I'm here today with three drugstore recommendations for really long wearing, long lasting foundations. And I know that that's something that a lot of people really struggle with is kind of getting your foundation to last all day. And I've got quite a few, sorry, my hair's kind of just everywhere. Um, I've got quite a few friends who tend to kind of carry their foundation around in their handbag during the day and kind of touch up and that kind of thing. I don't do that because I don't really find that I need to and I definitely believe in kind of having a foundation wardrobe so different foundations for different occasions so if I want my makeup to stay on all day long these tend to be the foundations that I go for and that work the best at staying on the skin now bearing in mind my skin type is kind of combination more on the oily side so these work really well for that they might be a bit cakey and dry looking if you do have dry skin but they're all drugstore options and kind of on the slightly higher end of the drugstore which i'm sorry well one of them isn't actually but two of them are um so i'll start with the cheapest one and that is the 17 stay time foundation i've got it in the shade honey and this is very very full coverage it's very thick it's almost like a cream concealer texture it covers very very well it's kind of like flawless face but not the most natural looking um at the same time but this stays on your skin like nothing else because it kind of just blocks out any colour. You do kind of then need to build up again with some blusher and bronzer and highlight to add dimension to your skin. But it just makes everything look so flawless and perfect and stays on really, really well. Hence the name Stay Time. I think they claim that it stays on... Uh, 25 hours let's face it no one wears their foundation that long but it's a type where you come to wash your face or at night and your foundation's looking pretty perfect still not you know as perfect as when you first applied it and I do still need to blot and kind of add a bit of powder midday but it works beautifully and it's very inexpensive it's around six pounds definitely one that I would recommend if you do have problematic skin because the coverage is so good but I would be careful because it can look a little bit cakey make sure your skin's really well moisturized before you apply it and then the next one is one that I think a lot of you would be familiar with. It's Revlon Colorstay. My issue with this is just the packaging. Um, I love the product. It's a great foundation, but the packaging drives me insane. I need a pump on this Revlon, please, because it just is impossible to get out it's a thicker foundation so it doesn't come out very easily when you're trying to tip it out it lasts really well on the skin decent coverage a nice dependable foundation they do it in um different skin tones this is the true beige one um different not skin tones different skin types so sorry this is the one for combination oily we do one for dry skin as well i've got it in the shade true beige which i can only wear when i'm a little bit more tanned and it does kind of dry down a little bit darker than when first applied so that's something that you might want to bear in mind but it's not um it's not as full coverage as the other one but it just evens out your skin tone very nicely and stays looking nice all day it's not an amazing foundation in its kind of finish or anything like that but it's just a nice dependable everyday foundation but the packaging lets it down hugely for me and then we are at the last one which is my favorite it's probably my favorite foundation at the moment in general and it's the l'oreal infallible matte foundation i love this with a brush i love love using this with a kind of beauty blender sponge it's just such a great foundation they describe it to be medium texture high coverage it's high-ish natural looking so long lasting and just looks amazing on the skin it's the type of foundation that i'll not use for a while then i put it on and i'm like i remember why i love you it's just such a great foundation i've done a full review of this so i'm gonna put that down below but it just works really well at controlling the kind of oil in your skin lasting nicely the coverage is very buildable. I've got it in the shade Sand, which is a really nice match for me. It's kind of nice and yellowy toned, but just a very, very dependable foundation that's kind of not going anywhere once you've put it on. You do still need to kind of blot and powder if you have oily skin like me, but a very, very good option. It's around nine pounds, I think. Revlon Color says around 12, um, but it's matte, but still alive looking. And if I had to pick one out of these three, then I would definitely recommend this one. My phone's ringing hopefully someone else gets that um then i would definitely recommend getting this one because it's just a really really great foundation so that's it those are my three long lasting foundations i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any recommendations 
no one's getting that phone, are they? Oh well, however it is, I'll just have to ring back. Let me know if you have any recommendations, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!